we go. We got one down right there. Job number one. There's more work than it was supposed to be. Got all this nice cut corn, easy to find them. First one I shoot lands in the standing corn. <laughs> That's how it goes. Here we go. That one be easier to retrieve. So I'm here with Bruce Langley. Bruce, uh, you farm all over the state of Kentucky, but this is one of the fields that you've already cut for corn. Yeah, we chopped this field for uh, silage, so it'll be feed for cattle. Well, th this is a perfect situation because you actually, we can't see it, but right over there, you have a field that you actually planted to dove hunt on. Yeah, there's a sunflower field that's about 300 yards that way, other side of the creek. So my job today and your job is kind of keep these doves up so they don't land in this cornfield, give those guys a really, really good hunt. And in turn, we should get a good hunt out of it ourselves. Yeah. Here, Chad. Take him, Bruce. There you go. Good shot. <laughs> that was that an easy out. one. That, that, right. <laughs> that bird wanted to be on camera. <laughs> nice shot. Yes, sir. Thank you. Know, you know, that's the great thing about dove hunting. It requires a shotgun and a minimal amount of gear by your hunting license, your migratory bird permit, and fill out your hip survey. And you can come out here and have a blast. And you can sit here and talk to somebody and not have to whisper. And, and it's usually good weather, you know, good temperatures. You're not freezing. So it's a... Uh, it's a good time. Really. It's a lot of fun. Hey, and they're hard to beat on the grill. Oh, man. Wrapped in <laughs> dudes and some bacon. Well, I'm already seeing tons of birds, and uh, it's still early in the afternoon. I have a feeling that uh, today is going to be a lot of fun. I hope so. Good shot. Thank you. Oh, you got him. Here we go. I don't know who got that one. I don't know either. It ended up being the one I switched over to. Right there. I don't know who got him, but we he's done. <laughs> he's down. We talked about hunting the field yesterday. It is important to give the field a break, have a good shutoff time. Yeah. And if we stay out here till seven o'clock and they can't come in and feed, you, you know, you're just hurting yourself. So you, you do need to give them some time to come in. And, and that's why a lot of our public fields, they'll hunt a day or two and then they'll be off limits for a couple days. Bruce, tell me, what is it that you like about this the most? I think it's just the camaraderie before and after, and you know, me and you're sitting here, we're hunting and we're talking, and we're having a successful hunt. Oh, yeah. Nice weather, yeah. a lot of action, uh, yeah. a lot of birds coming in on top of you. A lot of shooting. There's not too many things you can do, and you can yell at your buddy from across the field and tell him there's a bird coming, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Terry! It's just a different style. You know, September 1st is kind of first hunting season. I don't know, I like everything about it, really. <laughs> that joker was on top of it. This, this right here may be the dumbest bird in the county. <laughs> it tried to land on that wire right above us. <laughs> Maybe he's just been missed so many times, he's like, heck, they can't hit me. You know what, this is pretty nice because uh, we got 10 birds between us and we've had zero non-recovery. Yeah. Allow these birds to make sure they clear the corn. Right here. Well, we both shot. I don't, somebody got him. So Bruce says he likes to employ the strategy where uh, he likes to quit shooting at seven so these birds have a chance to feed. So in Bruce's field, the early bird in the afternoon, the early bird doesn't get the worm. Early bird gets the lead. Well, we walked up here, took some higher ground. 
Needed two more birds to make a limit, and uh, looks like we've limited out. What a great dove hunt. Tell you what, I, every year I get out here and do this, I always tell myself, why do I only hunt the fir first week of dove season and then quit? But for today, it was a great hunt. Got my limit, and it's time to go to the barn for some fellowship.